I remember when I scored against Liverpool, I'm looking back and thinking, I actually scored in the San Siro for Milan in the Champions League. This is what I used to watch people do, and now I'm doing it. I'm Fakaya Tomori, and this is Next in Line. My full name, my full first name is Oluwa Fikayomi Tomori. It actually means God has filled me with joy. You know, in Europe, when your parents give you a name, it's like a phrase or a sentence shortened into a name. Well, shortened, but my name is pretty long. I remember when I used to play for my school team, I'd just be thinking to myself, I wonder how people actually become like professional footballers. You know, and um, I got a scout from Chelsea came towards the end of the season and said, yeah, I've been watching your son for the whole season and I want him to come to the, to the development centre. First day, I actually went to the academy. There's kids from all around London who can do the same thing I can. And it wasn't as easy for me. So I remember I said to my dad that when I got in the car, I said, dad, I'm not sure I can come back. He said, no, no, you're coming back for sure. You need to, you know, be in a place where you're challenged, where you can improve yourself. I remember the first time my dad and I actually went to a Chelsea game because we'd never actually seen a football game live. I can't remember how old I was, maybe nine or ten. We, we saw Drogba. And he kind of walked past us when he was warming up. I remember my dad and I looked at each other because we were kind of like, whoa, like, that's a Drogba we see on the TV on a flat screen and now we can see him 3D. Thierry Henry was my idol when I was playing for my Sunday league team. You know, I used to always have gloves on, I used to put my socks over my knees. If Thierry Henry scored a goal on the Saturday, for example, and I saw the celebration, I would do the celebration. I think there was one time and he kind of like curled in a corner and he just kind of jogged. So I remember when I scored the goal, I did the exact same thing. My debut in the Champions League, it was against Valencia at Stamford Bridge. I was just kind of in my head thinking, ah, today I have to play well. Today I'm playing the Champions League. This is what I've been wanting for however many years. You no, know, it's so strange. The whole day you kind of build up to it and then the game just goes so fast. First time that I got a call from Maldini and you know, he said, yeah, we want you to come. Growing up, all the players that, that had played in Milan, I'd seen them be at the top and it was kind of like, whoa, like, really, AC Milan? And then I remember once I arrived here, I remember I put on the top like, the red and black stripes. It was just like surreal. San Siro, it's like a monument. It's just there. You can see it the whole way as you're driving past. It kind of feels like it's leaning towards you. And then on a match day, you know, the fans are there from like two hours before the game, banging on the bus. You can see how excited and how charged they are for the game. You know, you just feel that energy from them. You know, you play the league games, you play the domestic cup competitions, but then when the Champions League comes, it's just, it's different. The lights are a bit brighter. And now in the San Siro, you're listening to the, the last bit when they go, when they go the Champions, and then the whole stadium just sings. It gives you goosebumps. Even now, every time it happens, it's just like, whoa, this is crazy. I remember when I scored against Liverpool, I'm looking back and thinking, I actually scored in the San Siro for Milan in the Champions League. Those kind of things are just like, it's just thinking, wow, this is what I used to watch people do. And now I'm doing it like, it is, it is crazy to think about. When I arrived here, I definitely had to think about my game more. In Italy, it's more about, okay, this is where you need to be when the ball is here. This is how your body needs to be. This is where you should pass the ball. This is how you should pass the ball. It was more specific and, you know, how the manager wants you to play in relation to what the team is doing, which is different to England. In England, you know, you can, you can play on instinct. I think in Italy, they try and eliminate that as much as possible where you know what you're doing and you know how the team is playing, where you need to pass the ball. So yeah, there's a lot of video analysis and a lot of technical data that we're looking at to try and you know give ourselves the advantage so that you know we can kind of exploit what they're doing. As I think the level is getting higher and you know, things are getting you know more technical and you know there's seconds and centimeters and all this stuff involved. I'm working on more specific stuff for my game in terms of okay, I need to make sure that I can be sharp off both sides or I can push from my right foot as strong as my left foot, for example. Those 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 are little things that as I think I've got older, as I'm playing in more difficult games in high level games, that I'm trying to work on and, and improve on. Long passing is part of my game. Being a central defender, sometimes I need to play the ball long. So yeah, it's something that I'm definitely working on. It's kind of getting the technique, being comfortable doing it off both sides because of playing on the left side, sometimes I just have to do it off my left foot. I'm always looking at my high speed, how many times I'm you know, maybe not really going for, for a press or if I'm making a recovery run or how much distance I'm covering. So am I covering too little, am I covering too much? The next level for me is, you know, just being kind of that presence in both boxes, being dominant in the air, being dominant on the floor, in my jewels, being strong.
Growing up, my dad very much was the, the pusher and he always wanted me to, to do more. He understands me, I think, probably more than most people. Yeah, he says everything yields to diligence, not just in football, but in life. is like if you work hard at something, if you apply yourself and you, know, you really want it, then what you put the work into will have its rewards, will have the results. Yeah, it's definitely something I apply to my life. It's something that's always been in my head, something tattooed on my brain somewhere, something I'm always thinking about. I think my dream of life is, it might sound a bit cliche, but I don't want to have any regrets. I want to be able to say, at the end of it, I did everything I could. I allowed myself to be myself. I allowed myself to you know, do what I wanted to do in the right way. And I think, you know, at the end of that, if I win a million trophies, or if I just have this Scudetto in myself, I can say, I did everything I needed to do. I'm content with what I've done. But then, of course, in the same breath, a dream is to, you know, win Champions League. A dream is to win the World Cup, win Scudetto again, win every trophy possible that I can with Milan as I'm here.